Hey there guys, today I got another lock here for you today. This is going to be a laminated lock. It's made by that one company. I just got done picking a uh, discus lock made by uh, this brand or this company. It's Chateau or Chate, C-H-A-T-E-A-U. Uh, it's just a 40 millimeter laminated padlock coming out of China. Interesting thing about this lock is it does, I think it does, you never know until you really cut it open and look. It has security pins on it. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate hopefully a couple of different techniques on this lock. If I can. Um, should be able to pick it open though. For sure, hopefully. Uh, the first one, I'm going to use my hook pick here. And I, I'm just going to go in and single pin pick this lock. And hopefully get a false set. I'm not gonna get a false set on that. Come on. It really surprised me with this lock that it dropped into a a false set. I was not expecting that uh, with a lock like this. Now there it is, picked open. That's not what I was wanting to demonstrate. But uh, I guess the moral of the story is, again, like I said in one of my previous videos on the Avis, if you just go in and rock gently, uh, pull your pick out and your hook pick out, push up on the pins, a lot of times you can bypass the security pins and uh, not have to worry about a false set. I was hoping to get a false set out of this guy so I could show you it has security pins. And I'm just not doing it. I'm just picking it open. Um, let's try again here. Okay. You got a false set. I know it's really hard to see, but it it is in a false set. Uh, it surprised the hell out of me. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I was just was not expecting that out of a lock like this. And uh, see if I can get it out. Probably won't be able to get it out now. And there it is. Picked out of the false set. Um, what I was going to show was, for new people out there just tuning in, maybe new to my channel, or new to lock picking, um, even though this lock does have security pins, probably got one or two in there, you can, let's try this rake right here, you can uh, rake these locks open, locks that have security pins, I'm using my city rake again, uh, hopefully you guys can see that. Um, you can rake through uh, security pins and bypass them all together and the lock will hopefully not drop into a false set. Uh, most people that pick locks are pretty experienced at it, probably already know that. There was picked open, raking, and like I said it does have security pins in it and I never did get a false set on that. So try it one more time with this uh, city rake here. And it's going in, and you want to use really light pressure, and just rake back and forth. Hopefully, I'll get it again. There it is. So yeah, you can rake a lock open that has security pins. The serrated pins are really, really tough to do, but uh, I say it's more of a matter of luck. But there's some people out there that feel that it's a valid technique. The trick is using real light tension on your tension wrench and you can negate a lot of those security pins and I dare say even the ones that have serrated pins in them um, but that way beyond my skill Let's see if I can grab another rake here let's try this uh, it's gonna be from uh, South Ord uh, their Pagoda pick set this looks like a standard Bogota Be able to do it with this. 
All you need, you can do with half diamonds, half balls, snowmans, or half snowmans. Uh, normally you can, like I said, rake past a lot of security pens. Just requires real light tension. Not that time. Oh, tension wrench fell out. It just requires real light tension and plenty of practice. Let's see if we can do it again here. There it is. So, the moral of the story is just because the lock has security pins in it, doesn't really mean anything. Um, you can still rake past the security pins like I'm doing here. Again, using that special, not special, but that modified uh, snowman pick that Chip Stewart, I think he put a video up on YouTube a couple years ago. Uh, you can just normally go in here. This pick is really, really good. If you got a snowman pick, um, they're either called a double, a double ball pick or a snowman pick. Uh, like I said, you go in, you grind off the bottom of it, and then that first ball, you just put like a 45 degree angle on it, grind that away, and that gives you like a half diamond, a small half diamond, and a half ball. And it works, works wonders on uh, some master locks and uh, wafer locks for sure. And, you know, I say it works wonders now. I'm going to sit here and struggle with this lock. Let's see. It's great for raking because of that tip. And you have to see him use it. He, he, I think he has a video up. He just goes through lock after lock with it. Pretty effortlessly. And I'm going to struggle with it. It's going to be one of those days. I can see it now. And the trick to this is really, really light tension. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. That's just making me mad. Normally this pick will work on most locks, most pin tumbler locks. So if you got an extra snowman laying around, you may just grind off the bottom. There it is. You may grind off the bottom and then take that, that half ball that's up front and just put a 45 degree slope on it so you just grind off a little. And normally it works in uh, wafer locks and pin tumbler locks really, really well. So there's that. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to show uh, maybe some of the new people I'm getting new subscribers. Really appreciate that. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that uh, maybe new people out there understood that just because the lock has security pins in it doesn't mean that you can't rake it and rake it open. You don't have to rake it to a false set. Uh, the trick is just applying really, really light tension. One of these days I'll do a video of the different raking techniques and different tensioning techniques. Uh, this was a 40, mil 40 millimeter laminated padlock by Chate, C-H-A-T-E-A-U. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good day.